Hello good people, I'm Logan and I'm Tim and we are Kiwi Vision and today we're coming to you from Hanoi, Vietnam. That's so if right. you're interested in following our travel channel we'll put the link above. Now today we're going to be looking at our favorite five songs from Ukraine's Vidbeer national selection. We always love covering Ukraine. The music scene is just so alive and mm. effusive and unapologetic so mm. it's just been a joy to listen to some of these songs. Yeah. We do like more than just the five but we thought let's be disciplined. Yes. You know really try and identify the cream of the crop. So we've had a listen through the songs. These are five we really like. What we're going to do now is have a listen to each of those, give you some of our thoughts on them, and we're going to rank them as we go. If your opinion differs from ours, please let us know in the comments section. Totally. I'm interested to hear what your favourite is. First up we have a song called Time Is Running Out by Skylar. Let's go. Beautiful voice. Mm. Very pop, but powerful. Yeah, definitely. Also, what a glamour shot for the colour. <laughs> yeah, she's so beautiful. The lighting is on fleek. Mm, good energy with this one. It's got a really good dance rhythm to it, and I feel like there's a lot of dance elements coming into Eurovision. It's becoming more important. Bit of attitude there. Yeah. It's really got the Ukrainian DNA though, it's got yeah. those haunting melodies, even though and it's the a rap, dance track. Rap finds itself in so much Ukrainian music and I'm yeah. here for it. Tell me why I'm crazy. There's a real natural progression. It takes you to a place. But I like those gothic backing vocals. You can tell she's a really strong singer. I mean, with studio versions, it's all these embellishments and elevations, but sometimes you can just tell this person's really competent. It feels very cool. It does, yeah. Far cooler than me. <laughs> In our fourth position, we have A Place I Call Home by Ziffelblatt. Correct me if I'm wrong on the pronunciation. <laughs> Vibey. Yeah. Synth rock is such a growing genre. Um, very popular in Australia and New Zealand. Very cool sound. Yeah. Reminds me of a combination of like the Beatles and like Tame Impala Tame from Impala. Australia. And I think it's a cool sound. Last night you also said Keen, the band Keen. Ah, uh, yes, actually. So the that fact too. that it's inspiring these really cool references is a good sign. They're strong. I wish I could get up that high. <laughs> He's got a really beautiful voice. Yeah, I love the melody. It's sweet. It's so carefree. I don't know how that would do at Eurovision, I really don't. Neither do I. But you just gotta choose the songs that you like. Yeah. You think of good songs. We shouldn't put Eurovision in too much of a box. Yeah. Agreed. The verses are very Beatles to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, love it. Love it, me too. Right, next up in third position we have Malvin, who's been to Eurovision before. Yes. This time with his song, Dreamer. Ah. He has such an interesting look. Looks like a bit of a Final Fantasy character. Yes, it? yeah. Feels about video games, mm. but fantasy. Ukraine loves a leisurely intro. Yes. It was a little spooky. Uh, it's very melodic. Mm. They want me shut. Slay King. You do you. You just sort of want to boogie when you listen to the yeah. song, and that's a good thing. I also want to join a cult. Yeah. And chant all yeah, day what, long. What kind of cult would it be? Believer. I like the lyrics. <laughs> They're unusual. And he has balls to uh, go up that high. Definitely, yeah. But it's quite strong up there. Yeah. Can't wait for live. Very catchy. Yeah. And easy to sing along to. Yeah, definitely. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's a vibe, it's a boogie. This is not like other stuff I listen to. It's uh, so different. <laughs> well, I feel empowered. Yeah, I feel empowered. For our second position, we have Anka with Palala. Yes. 
Ooh, a music video this time. Yes. Got the flute. Yeah, the flute work in this is excellent. <laughs> Feeling those potatoes. Yes. We've never seen this before. <laughs> mm. I love a flute moment. There's a quirkiness to the song and there's a catchiness to it. Yeah. It's really high production. It feels like an event. The harmonies are really nice. Yeah. They feel very Ukrainian. There's a chorus effect. And it's kind of like trappy in this bass and it's mm. like... Ukrainians are slaying the game with music. Definitely. She's very charismatic. It reminds me of a New Zealand song called yeah. Chahu by a rapper called Savage. Woohoo! Yeah, this is super cool. It's a party, yeah. It's a bop. It's a bop. And then finally, in our first position, is a song called Teresa and Maria by the artists Eliona Eliona and Jerry Hale. Mm. Oh, Jerry Hale, I've heard that name before. I think she was in Vidbeer yes, last year. Yes, I have heard that name before. Mm. Let's check out the track. You know where the key reference is from? It's from this song. Oh, this song. Yes. Okay. I also get a little Florence in the Machine. Oh, a lot, yeah. This one's just no. crept up inside my brain, now lives there in a tent. It's just pure quality. I really like that there are disparate components that all come together but keep things interesting mm. right through the runtime. Yeah, plenty of layers, plenty of complexity. Ooh. Another bop. Bop alert. It does sound like a bit Florence and Machine, yeah. but the Ukrainian version, the, the backing vocals and the spooky melodies, it's cool. They're a great duo. It's got good chorus, pre-chorus, verse, mm. um, as well as some other sections which later in the song. Yeah. And I can see this being really celebrated at Eurovision, really connecting with a wider audience. Yeah. You could also do a big club remix to this, like it would go off in the club oh, a little bit higher words. tempo, a little more drums. Something to do with Mother Teresa being a human being. Maybe to start it off as just a normal person and then became someone great, did lots of charitable work. So this is uh, a rapper, Eliana Eliana. Really add something to the song because it changes it up now with a rap in this. Yeah. I hope we're living in the age of female rap. I'm excited yeah. for Big Mama at San Remo. Yes, me too, yeah. It carries you through. You just want to sing that melody even yeah. if you don't know the words. Like, oh, that's no. such a good sign. Yeah, this one's a triumph. Absolute bop. Mm. I love it. Well, there you have it. Those are our initial top five. Though there are other songs in this competition that are excellent. Absolutely. And we just wanted to quickly give a shout out to Ingrid with her song Keeper. We really like that one as well. It's catchy, it feels political, yep. it's a woman's empowerment bop, and you know we love those. Yes, we debated that one for the fifth position. Ultimately, we decided to go in a different direction. Yeah, and the quality is so high at Vidbeer this year. So, yes. again, well done, Ukraine. Yeah. Nailed it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for watching our video. If you like watching our videos, do remember to subscribe and hit the like button for this video. And if you happen to enjoy travel vlogging and travel videos, we make those as well. So we'll put a link to our travel channel. Awesome. Thanks so much for your support. Kakiti Anō. Bye. Now let's do this again. A little different this time. I told myself that money would never be a factor.